I thought I was model thin my whole life. My, as soon as I started, the first thing that agency said to me was, you have to lose 10 pounds and you gotta do it in two weeks. My name is Andrea and I've been modeling since I was 19. I am now 32. <laughs> I love the fashion, the creativity, how everyone works as a team and seeing different perspectives and collaborating together has been um, a really exciting opportunity and it's something that you don't get to do every day. My name is Katie McKenna and I am taking a Bachelor of Film and Television at Sheridan College. I got into modeling my first year at Sheridan when I noticed all the photography students and makeup students looking for volunteer models. So I thought, hey, why not? Something I've always had an interest in and it seems like it'd be a lot of fun getting your hair and your makeup done and getting all dressed up for a shoot and I did love it. It's very exciting, but the industry puts a lot of pressure on women to look a certain way. There was a time I was living in New York. I was um, at a casting at my agency with my agents there and we were trying on the clothes for this designer and the gentleman running it decided to grab the pair of shorts that I was wearing, pull them together and try and squeeze me into these insanely small shorts and say this is why you, you can't because you're so fat here and like grabbed my side and I was just shocked I was I believe 25 and I would walk in they would be like oh you know your measurements are great if you can get down a little smaller no rush then I was faced with the, oh, yeah, but your experience, your book isn't strong enough for your age. And I was like, what does my age have to do with it when you probably thought I was 18 five minutes ago? And now I tell you I'm 25 and it's an issue. So I was born with a moderately severe hearing loss and I wear hearing aids. It's something I've grown up with my whole life and I've done my best to not be embarrassed or ashamed about because I can't control it. So why should I? I was modeling for this photographer and it was all going well and then they wanted profile shots and they asked me to take out my hearing aids because they didn't suit the look they were going for. I was so uncomfortable and taken aback. I wish that I had said no. This is me. This is a part of me. This is how I look. How does it make you feel when you heard them tell you to lose 10 pounds? How did that affect your mentality? It's tough. It seems like it's never going to be okay. Like, it's never going to be good enough. The client needs you thinner so you don't book. You know, you book with them before, but you don't get to now. You know, you get older, your body changes. You need to figure out new ways to adapt to that, to keep and maintain people out there that just, you know, think that it's this fabulous, glamorous lifestyle and really it's, you're a struggling artist. It gets to be really negative and you need to really figure out how to deal with that to keep yourself positive and to keep yourself healthy. I go to the gym, I lift weights, I do cardio, yoga, and you have to surround yourself with people who are going to support you as well. One thing that I don't like about the industry or modeling in general is how vulnerable you can feel. It really does point out your biggest insecurities and oftentimes people will say them to your face. Beauty is not just thin and white and youthful and able-bodied. Beauty is diversity and beauty is found in imperfections. I think that all disabilities, whether they are visible or not, should be represented because it is really hard growing up and not seeing anyone who looks like you in what society defines as beautiful. I'm just happy to be healthy and strong. I love getting older and the family that I'm starting to build with my husband and trying my best every day to just love who I am 
the way I am. You are your own person and you have your own beauty. Don't let anyone else take that away from you.